It's Football Weekly, the digital edition, along with Anthony Heron and Rick Neuheisel. Mike Am with you. The awards for a lot of the players in the Pac-12 Conference, they just continue to roll in. Defensively, that guy, Scooby Wright, the nation's top defensive player. I, I, you guys have seen him up close and personal. I, I'll get your assessment on, on why he was able to win this award. But from a coach's perspective, What's it like to see a guy, his story is well chronicled, two-star recruit, not highly saw, thought of as a guy that was going to make this huge impact, to have the rise that he's had. What's that got to be like for Rich Rodriguez? It, it, it's really exciting because it, it's a walking lesson, a walking reminder for the entire team what hard work can do for you. Scooby Wright has maximized his talent and he's maximized his opportunities. And he does so with a work ethic that's unparalleled. You, talk, you heard Rich Rod talk about him being in there on days off <laughs> at 6.30 in the morning in the weight room. He's six foot tall. I know the program says six one. He's six foot tall. I <laughs> stood right. next to him. And since I'm six feet tall, I know uh, that he, this is a guy that has found a way to be a remarkable player. And when you watch the highlights of Scooby Wright, it's usually not because he beats somebody off the line of scrimmage. Mm. The talent, the guy can stay with him. It's his ability to retrace. It's it's, a, it's second level effort. The right. ability to find a way to do something extra. And to me, therein lies the coaching uh, beauty in terms of look how Scooby does it. Look how you find a way to be productive regardless of the circumstances and that is why Scooby Wright is one of the best defensive players that we can remember in the Pac-12. We're not going to say that he's going to run faster, jump higher, uh, impress with his uh, physical measurements, but what he is going to do is blow it off the charts with respect to the heart and desire that he plays with every time he goes out there. That's why it's so insane how productive he is as a playmaker. And it didn't just start this season. I mean, last year he was really a tackling machine, but more of a sideline to sideline sort of guy. And now with the 3 3 5, that morphs into a 4 2 5 in certain looks that Arizona runs defensively. They're able to put his hand in the dirt, bring him off the edge, they're able to put him back in the box where he operates so well, bring him through the A gaps. I mean, he's become a renowned playmaker because he's got some diversity with how he can operate within their scheme. And so, in addition to just leading the conference in tackles and leading their team in playmaking, he's also turned into a guy that operates in the backfield as well, which is very difficult to do from a linebacker position. A year ago, he was not a pass rusher. They right. were in need of pass rushing coming into this season. They said, hey, Scooby, you try it. Next thing you know, he's Who got double-digit sacks, and he's the defensive player of the year. It's a phenomenal story and one that they'll tell off and in Tucson. So congratulations to Scooby Wright, Arizona's program as well. What a season Rich Rodriguez has had at the helm of the Wildcats. For complete coverage of everything that's happening around this team. And they're headed to the Fiesta Bowl. Yes. And the game, that's always a good deal. For complete coverage of everything that's happening Mariachi in the conference. Bands. All you have to do is check out pack-12.com. You can dance. <laughs>